What's up, America? Neil here with Geography Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today I'm on my private range. Uh, wanted to have a quick, this is not going to be a long video, but this is going to be an important video about shooting one eye versus two eyes open. So let's get started. So what's the big deal? What, who cares? Well, first of all, uh, before you do this, we want to do a dominant eye test. I'm not going to bore you with that. It's real simple. Keep both your eyes open. Make a triangle with your finger, your hands like this. Find something on the wall, light switch, whatever. With both eyes open, don't move your head and don't move your hands. Go straight out like this, okay? Once you're looking at it, close your right eye. If the object on the wall disappears, like it does in my case, your right eye dominant. If it doesn't disappear, keep both eyes open, line everything back up, and close your left eye. And if it disappears, your left eye dominant. That's it. Uh, some people will be, about 30% will be cross-eye dominant, meaning that you're right-handed but left eye, or left-handed but right eye, whatever, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, people make a big deal about it, and you absolutely should not. It makes no sense at all, and it's ridiculous. Uh, your eyes are only this far apart, so you're going to see people at the range doing weird crap with their heads. Okay, and I always I make this joke, but it's, it's the truth. I always come up to them and ask them why they do this weird thing with their head, and they always tell me, well, I'm cross-eye dominant. And I always say, yeah, but you're not a catfish, right? Your eyes are here. doesn't matter. It makes no sense. Right eye, left eye. Left hand, right hand, makes no difference. So that's all hogwash. Now, let's talk about why it's important. The reason that we teach instructors in general, why we teach a student who's new or maybe never had real instruction, uh, maybe he's been shooting with wrong eye, whatever, the whole purpose of this is that we need to, in the fundamentals of shooting, I need to be able to look, and here's another important part, by the way. I need to look through the rear sight, okay? Look through the notch. A lot of people say line up your sights, and I see this happen with new shooters all the time. And it usually yields in a really high shot. And what the student does is they extend out and they're looking over the sights, over the sights. So I always make it a big deal to come up to the student after we adjust their grip and so forth and put my finger on top of the rear sight. And that way they're forced to look through the box. And I see these students a lot of times, if you shoot really, really high and you can't figure out why, most likely you can see your dots, but you're looking over them, okay? And then I'll put my finger there and all of a sudden their gun comes up and they go, oh yeah, totally different, right? That's the sight picture we're looking for. So we're going to look through the rear sight and focus on what? The front sight, not the target, okay? Now, here's why this is important. For many people, when you start to do this for the first time and you look through this rear sight and you focus only on here, you a lot of times with both eyes open, you're going to get double vision. It will go away, I promise you. It just takes a little repetition, but rather than wasting the time my precious time i had to teach you the fundamentals of shooting okay i'm going to tell you to close your non-dominant eye and just use the one eye because that immediately cures the problem and it's not doing any real detriment you're still lining up the primary eye where it becomes a problem is if you try to like say i'm right eye dominant if i were to close my right eye and then just use my left eye that would inhibit my ability because the truth of the matter is when i start to shoot properly with both eyes open i'm going to be i'm going to be back to my right eye it throws things off so we always want to start from the beginning the proper way. So for me, right eye, that's what we're using, okay? So real simple. So I close that one eye, get rid of my double vision, and I, and I go to town. I do my fundamentals. So people go, okay, what's the big deal? Well, in real life, as we get better, in self-defense, rather, I should say, uh, we're going to shoot with both eyes open. Why? Because we're going to be in a high-stress, horrible situation, life or death, or you and your family member, you're going to have tunnel vision already. It gets called video, visual inclusion. You also can get audio inclusion as well. And you start to look through like this little tunnel, okay? It's also called threat focus. You're so worried about this, you don't see any of the things going around you, which is very dangerous, especially in a real environment. I'm not talking about Hollywood. A real environment. As a law enforcement officer, that's a death sentence. If I focus this much on this immediate danger without paying attention to my surroundings, myself or other officers can get killed. So... Bottom line is I want to have as much information as possible. So think about this. If I'm already in this tunnel vision scenario and then I close one eye, I'm in like a gunfight looking through a paper towel tube, which is no good. So I want as much information as possible. So I want to be able to find my front sight, focus on it with both eyes open. Okay. I realize that if the first time you do this, you're going to get double vision. That's why we close one eye. The point of this whole video is we need to start working on getting away once you've gotten through that one class or whatever the case is, start working on opening both eyes. So here's a couple little uh, trip tips for you, okay? So 
depending on your vision, this may vary a bit, but for people that, have, that do struggle with this, one thing that I've found that's been very, very helpful for students, if you bring your rear sight, uh, the gun's unloaded and clear and all that, but regardless, we're going to bring it close to our face. So now, it's super easy to look through this rear sight and focus right here, okay? And then what I'll find is, as I present the gun out forward, right, because a lot of times people struggle from their, their full presentation, so here it's real easy. And then I keep moving it out, moving it out, and let's say, like right here, for example, I start to have issues focusing on it. Okay, that's fine. Pause, bring it back, refocus, push it back out some more. Okay, I'm starting to struggle again. Bring it back, refocus. And you're gonna keep kind of doing the seesaw, the sawing motion until you're able to finally present all the way out. Now, this exercise may take five pre presentations. It may take five minutes. It might take a couple of days. I don't know. Everybody's a little different. But I promise you, your brain will automatically adjust and adapt to the fact if you want to have both eyes open and present this target, present this pistol out and focus on your front sight with both eyes open. Okay? So, uh, same rules apply. Even though we're, yeah, I don't, I'm not a red dot guy per se on pistols, but if that's your bag, and that doesn't mean you still can't get double vision because you are still trying to see that red dot. Um, all right, obviously, in a red dot scenario, you're also looking at the target, which is a little different. But the bottom line is vision issues uh, that. Um, bringing the gun closer and slowly bring it out helps out a lot but the idea is we're going to ultimately end up with both eyes open all right guys that was a quick one but hopefully helpful until uh, by the way you can find us here on YouTube uh, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter we put all our premium stuff on patreon uh, we if you see a video right now if you're watching this video that means I'm also putting out a video you will never see here on YouTube only for patreon uh, we also have a credit system for classes on Patreon, so you pay monthly, and it also goes towards classes, and you get webinars as well. Uh, but hope to see you on Patreon, and until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.